Hi, welcome to the North Central Research Station. At over 900 acres, it's still the largest research facility in the country dedicated exclusively to the study of crop nutrition. We're at field crop harvest now, marking the completion of another year of fertility research on over 25 different crops. In this video series, we have shown how research is conducted here at the NCRS by our own research staff, as well as by company agronomists around the country. However, since our last visit, we had another series of research field days in August here at the NCRS. This is where we open the doors to the farm and allow farmers, sales personnel, and other interested people from across the country to visit us here. We had over 300 visitors from many states and four countries here for the research field days. We have a variety of crop and fertilizer demonstrations for all to see. This allows for a hands-on opportunity for a close-up view of what agro-liquid fertility is all about. Additionally, visitors can also see several of the field experiments being conducted, where we're testing new fertilizer formulations, nutrient combinations, timings, rates, and various other treatment options to continually support AgroLiquid's mission. Each experiment at the NCRS has multiple replications of treatments in order to get an accurate read on yield effects. In field crops such as the corn here, only the center rows are harvested with the outer rows serving as borders for the adjacent plots. The corn from a plot is unloaded into the grain cart, which has scales under it set at two pound increments. With the larger plot size that we use, we are better able to measure treatment effects. As the corn is unloaded, samples from each plot are collected for quality measurements back at the farm office. After the corn is unloaded, the plot weights are entered on the iPad, which is wirelessly linked to the computer back in the office. The results are instantly summarized, which saves much time later. The collected samples undergo quality tests for grain moisture and test weight. These numbers are also automatically entered into the computer program for that experiment to adjust the final yields. As a nationwide supplier of crop nutrition, sometimes growers ask questions of the research staff about how they can grow a better crop. Hey, Dr. Brian, this is George McDowell of Katisa Farms of Riddleton, Tennessee. We grow strawberries, but what I'm needing is, is I need more than generic. Our strawberries are high quality plastic culture berries. I'm needing a program that spells out for me an A, B, C, never how many other letters we need down the list to produce a high quality, sweet strawberries that has a great shelf life and a good firm fruit with it. I'd appreciate that. Hi George, thanks for your questions in regards to your strawberries. You know, I guess we'd always like to begin with a soil test, but I think for, in terms of planting is the time we use a lot of ProGerm and our Micro 500 to get those plants off to a good start. They're going to need a little bit of Sure-K for potassium as well as nitrogen to get them moving. And then once they're established, we start pushing a lot more nitrogen at them to get some good vegetative growth. And then once we get into or close to the, the time of harvesting, we're going to push a lot more Sure-K as well as some of our Liberate Calcium that can be used to maintain and improve firmness of those berries. So not only are they gonna be able to harvest well, they should store well on a shelf. Again, we can get these rates all figured out once we get a soil test. We can also use tissue testing in season to kind of confirm it and shore up some of those rates so we get the best combination of products as we move through that uh, growing season for your strawberries. While harvest marks the end of this growing season, research plots have already been established for the next growing season such as this fall strip tillage experiment here. So even though one season is ending, research, like farming, continues like a road from one season to the next. Now sometimes that road might be a little bumpy due to tough times or low crop prices. So then it's even more important than ever to grow a good crop yield and while keeping an eye on economics. That's why research that we do here and around the country is more important than ever to ensure that a grower is getting the best return by using the best fertilizer the best form of crop nutrition available today, agriculture liquid fertilizers. I really hope that you've enjoyed this NCRS video series and maybe learned a thing or two as well. But we'll see you again next year. This is Dr. Jerry Willem. Thanks for watching.